Welcome back to another update, great people. Just wanted to kind of update you guys on what's been going on as of recently on this game. Um, so as you can see, I kind of wanted to show you was how I kind of do a good push. Like a lot of players may not understand one of, the, one of the techniques that I use. And one of these techniques is you have to know how to use your armor cards and you have to know how to do a good push. You can't be, uh, how do you say it? Um, you have to be able to anticipate as well. And you have to be able to look, look for weak spots. So that's three things. Find weak spots, anticipate. And you have to push. You have to advance. So... I'm going and you, well four things you have to know how to use those armor cars because that's the fastest vehicle on the game so that's going to be the fastest way that you can get provinces what I'm finding is a lot of players get frustrated because they're like well how is this guy getting all the provinces it's the strategy it's the strategy to the game to get a lot of provinces versus getting upset I would ask questions or I would at least pay attention to what that person is doing and you figure it out. So a prime example of it is right here. Triple attack. But I'm using my, my cars to advance and get these provinces. Like right here. If you look right here. The reason why. If you look at the map. These guys are protruding out and causing a concave here is because. Their, car, their cars and they're able to travel faster than the horses and everything else the only thing they can travel faster than these cars are these airplanes but airplanes cannot control a province if you didn't know that if you have an airplane on a province and they're uh, in um, and it's just sitting there without any cars or troops or horses that airplane is really defenseless to a degree and you can actually just take that province even if even if the airplane is sitting there because the province won't even recognize the airplane so the fastest thing that you can get a province with is a car you can't get a province with an airplane which would have been kind of cool because that would have been kind of slick but it doesn't work that's not what the game allows you to do so if you look right here these are nothing but cars I got about how many cars right here 34 cars leading the way and allowing these guys to catch up within 24 hours now I just gave you guys a big big piece of what I do you have to know what you have to know what um, what fights better with what you have to know these different things. For example, you have to know how to jump start an attack without stirring up the bees nest. As you can see, I'm just easing my way one guy at a time, breaking them down. Why? Because I'm using my airplanes. I got third, I got airplanes over his head. I got a nice stack coming to him. And I'm also gonna hit him with artillery. Which is going to eliminate that enemy, and, that, and I'm going to get that province quickly. And I can just keep moving forward on down the line. I have coal my coalition members here. I would just go ahead and advance and go ahead and move forward. But, you know, everybody plays different. You know, everybody plays different. And so, my job is to continue to advance and play my game the way I know how to play and so that's one of the things that I do do is I do push with these artilleries and whatnot so um, and I use and I use my artillery to to shake up so for example instead of you running up on these provinces that you know have I guess a level five that's a level five. These guys have level five. You don't run up on that. You need the artillery. And you don't even want to put your planes over that because you don't really know how many guys are over there. So let your artillery stir it up so we can see what they send out. 
when you hit it with the artillery, we'll, we'll get a, at least some kind of idea. Okay, so he still has 18 minutes. All right. So we'll at least have some kind of idea as to what is in store over here. Or you can send one troop on there, and when they attack, you can see how many troops they're fighting. It'll show you that that way. You have to just sacrifice one troop. So there's so many different strategies to this game, guys. So don't assume somebody's not being fair or... You know, because that's, I think that's kind of a weak approach to this type of game. This is a game where it's about strategy. And you may just not have a particular strategy. Just that simple. You know, there's different things you got to learn about this game. In order for you to understand what's going on. So let's do this now. Do I want to go ahead? He has, let me show you what I mean by getting a province quickly. Now he has nine troops here. And he has a level one fort, which will keep him protected at about, what, 50%? So he's protected at 50%. That's going to save me from probably being able to eliminate him on one hit. But with my airplanes over here, that increases the timing. So my airplane will hit him in about 16 minutes because once it gets here it'll count down to 15 minutes and then he'll be there in six minutes he'll be there in four minutes what i can do now is just go ahead and because it's under the 15 minute number uh, uh rule so y'all can just go ahead and stop and get him into combat. And then I don't want this guy to join him in combat. So what I'm going to do is not do a combat, but keep him going straight. So watch this guy. So now he won't join that. He won't join this guy here. He'll just keep going, which will cause another attack. So he's a, he's got to wait for another hour, but I already hit him again right here. So that should have really did a good work. So now he's down. That did a good job on the, on the fort. Yeah. If it wasn't for that fort, he probably would have been out of here. But that fort is done. You know, we took out three of them. So he's out of there in the next round. But we won't have to wait for the next round because I have these airplanes already here ready to go. So he'll be done. Now it was beautiful about it. Check this out, guys. He just sent 22 more men. Great. Because now all we're going to do is bait them in. Because we have everything we need. There's no way 22 is going to do anything with the number of guys we have here. So we're in great shape there. All I'm going to do is push it forward and send some more, some more reinforcements over there. Clear this area out. All right. So my goal is my goal is to actually, as you can see, we got a lot of space here. We got uh, this coalition closing in pretty good. Um, if 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 I can remember though, guys. And I'm going to go. That's why it's good to go. This is why it's good for you guys to be able to utilize my videos. I just thought about something. I believe these guys are not able to advance here like they want to. Because I do remember Abruzzo had a very, very strong number of tanks and troops up in this area. And I don't believe I've seen any tanks really as of yet so somebody had to deal with those tanks and i believe that's in this area over here if i'm not mistaken but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to one of the earlier videos of when we played um of when abruzzo was active 
And when I was able to see the whole map and see all his troops, because we had spies. So I'm gonna go back to that video and see exactly the location of where those heavy troops were at that Abruzzo had. And then I'll follow back up with you guys. All right, so until next time, peace.